Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So for this repaint, I decided to continue with my EV Evolution series and I have already done Selvion a few months before. So if you haven't checked the video, I will give the link to the video in the description box. For this repaint, I decided to work on the one and only Leafeon. Leafeon is one of my old time favorite grass type Pokemon and I think that her design is absolutely beautiful. I just really like her ears and all the details, her leafy kind of tail and I think that she's super adorable. And as you guys already know that I just really love to work with oranges, browns and peach colors. So I think that Leafeon is a very perfect candidate for this repaint. So for her outfit, her hair and her overall design, I just decided to give her a very raw kind of look because I just don't want it to give her a very fancy kind of look because I think that she's a forest creature and she don't deserve to have very fancy outfits and very fancy hairstyle so i just decided to go for some very beautiful dreadlocks and some very easy plant kind of skirts so it is going to be very easy and very fun so if you guys are brand new to my channel for the very first time then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and now without further ado let's jump on to our video for this repaint i decided to use ever after hi kitty cheshire doll is a base and i have already changed the skin tone of this doll and i think that she is going to be very perfect for this repaint as always, I have sealed the doll face up using my Mr. Super Clear sealant. After this, I have taken my watercolor pencils, soft pencils and makeup brushes and I have started working on the doll face. So off screen, I have sketched out the doll eyes. After this, I am taking my tiny brush and white color of acrylic paint and I am just filling the white of the doll eyes and I am also filling all the high points of the doll face. Using my green color of watercolor pencil, I am starting by drawing the leafy designs in the doll eyes. This time I just decided to go for something very different which I have never done before like I don't do this kind of things before. But for my EV Evolution series, I decided to go for something very different and I just decided to give some kind of elements in the doll face like in my Selvion Pokemon video. I draw full Selvion on her face and she was looking very fantastic but this time I just don't want it to repeat the same thing so I just decided to add some kind of leafy design so she will look much like the Pokemon and I think that it is going to look very fantastic. Using a black color of watercolor pencil I am starting by drawing the doll eyeliner. So now when I'm working on the doll face, let's talk about something different. So many people ask me on my Instagram and also a few on my YouTube that which kind of soft pencils you use because they are very pigmented. And I think that I get this question so many times. So in this video, I decided to answer this question. So the answer is that, that the soft pencils which I'm using are not that much special. I'm just using the normal Mangyo soft pencils and I think that they are very high pigmented but you also have to build a lot of layers in your doll face just to get the right colors which you want for your doll face. So whenever I record my videos and make videos for you guys, I just can't show you all the process of my doll faces because I mostly build all the layers off screen and I also show some of the clips here in my videos because if I show you all the process then the videos are going to be much longer. So I also have an idea if you guys wanted me to repaint a doll face up and then I will not edit that kind of video and show you the full process that how much time my doll faces usually take then you guys will understand. So I just wanted to suggest you guys that just build layers again and again just to bring the opacity because I'm not using any kind of very special materials for this face. I'm just using the normal Mangyo soft pencils which is much cheaper and 
the opacity is very perfect so you just don't need any kind of very expensive soft pastels because i think that the ones which i'm using are not much expensive but the opacity is fantastic but i just build layers again and again just to bring that opacity and to make the colors look very opaque and vibrant I hope that the answer will really help you guys but now I'm finally moving on to the doll face so I have already done the doll face while I was talking to you guys but now I'm taking my green color of watercolor pencil and I'm just adding some more detail to the doll irises after this I take my very tiny brush and I'm just adding some more highlights to the doll eyes because I just wanted to make the doll eyes very beautiful and they are just my very favorite part I'm also really sorry guys that the colors are changing a lot in this video because I have recorded this video from different mobiles and cameras so I'm just really sorry for that back to the face up so now I'm taking my black color of watercolor pencil and I'm starting by drawing the doll eyelashes this is my very favorite part when it comes to doll face-ups because I think that eyelashes can make the doll face-up look very beautiful. For the last minute detail, I decided to add a lot of freckles all around the doll face because I just really love freckles on doll faces. And at last, I gave her some eye shines and added some pearl powders to the doll face and with that, the doll face-up is all done and I'm so much proud of how the doll face turned out. Moving on to the doll outfit, so I have already made the top of the doll outfit using a very shimmery fabric and for the skirt I decided to go for this velvet brown kind of fabric because I think that this is going to look fantastic and I have already added the skirt directly to the top. Moving on to the next step in which I am taking this kind of artificial leaves which I found on my craft store and I am just using my hot glue gun just to glue them directly to the skirt. I am just putting leaves one by one and I am just gluing them to the skirt. I think that these kind of outfits are very easy to make and there are much variety to choose from because you can make your fairy outfits like this, your elven outfits like this and I've tried this technique a lot and a lot on my fantasy creatures and you can also use this because this is very easy and fun to do. And now I did the same thing with the first layer of the outfit. After this, I'm just using the same leaves just to do the same thing with the second layer. And once it's fully done, then I will be repeating the same thing. And with that, I'm finally done with the doll outfit and I'm so much proud of how the doll outfit turned out. I have also added some very tiny details like some very tiny flowers and some very tiny leaves and the back of this outfit. And I think that I'm super in love with how the doll outfit turned out. Moving on to the ear modifications of this doll, so using my X-Acto knife, I have did some very tiny holes. After this, I used some jewelry wire just to insert the jewelry wire into the holes. I also used some pliers just to secure them from the inside. And now they are looking very good to me. So after this, I'm using my trusty epoxy sculpt. You just have to use similar amount of epoxy from both of the tubs. And after this, you just have to start mix them together. Mix them very well until you have a very good paste and once both of the mixtures are fully mixed together, after this I will be starting my sculpting process. 
I have taken a blob of epoxy and I just inserted this into the wire and after this I'm using my finger and using some water I'm just starting my sculpting process and I think that the sculpting process is very easy and fun to do you just have to be very creative with what you are doing and I'm also seeing a lot of reference photos of leaf yarn because I just wanted to make the doll ears as realistic and as similar as possible. I also use my exacto knife just to add the leafy design to the ears and once one of the ear is all done then I will be repeating the same thing with the other one. And now the ears are looking fantastic to me and now I just keep this for drying for about 24 hours and after this I'm finally moving on to the doll tail so I have taken this very beautiful cream kind of silky fabric and using my hair straightener I'm just ironing this. I just wanted to make this look very flat and is similar to the Pokemon. After this, I'm just using my lighter just to fray block all of the edges. Now using my sharp scissors, I'm just adding some slits all around the tail just to give it a very leafy kind of effect. I'm also seeing a lot of reference photos of leafy on tail just to make this as similar as possible and now the tail is looking fantastic to me so using my jewelry wire I just decided to add this in the middle of the tail. And using my hot glue gun I'm just adding this in middle of the tail. This step is very important because if you add this kind of jewelry wire in the middle of this tail then the tail would be very bendable and I would really like the effect. I am also adding some very tiny veins and the tail just to make this more realistic. And now the tail is looking fully bendable and I am just really proud of this. Moving on to the painting stage of this tail which is my favorite part when it comes to this doll because I just really love to add gradients to anything on my dolls. So using my watered down acrylic paint I am just painting the doll tail. I also decided to add some kind of gradient to match with the rest of the design. And now the tail is looking very good to me and I am really in love with this. And what do you guys think about this? Please let me know in the comment section. Moving on to the doll ear paint. So I'm using the same color of cream acrylic paint which I use on the doll skin tone. And I'm just building two to three layers of acrylic paint just to make the colors look very opaque and vibrant. And now the cream color is looking very fantastic and I'm really in love with it. But still I wanted to add the green gradient just to match with the rest of the Pokemon. So I'm using the same color of green acrylic paint which I use on the doll tail. And I'm just giving it about 2 to 3 layers of green color just to make the green color look very opaque and vibrant. And once the gradient is all done, then I decided to add the brown color in the middle of the doll ears because I think that the Pokemon also have this kind of brown detail in her ears. So I just decided to add something very similar in my doll. I also give it about two layers of brown color just to make the brown color look much opaque and vibrant. And now the doll ear is looking fantastic and I'm finally done with the doll ears. And what do you guys think about this? Please let me know in the comment section. I'm also done with the doll tail and this is fantastic. But still I decided to add the jewelry wire to it just to add this very easily to my doll. 
So I have made a very tiny loop and the end of this tail. After this I take my jewelry wire and inserted the jewelry wire into it. After this I take my doll and I just easily wrap this wire around my doll and then easy peasy the doll tail is looking very good to me and I just added this very easily to my doll and I'm just really in love with how this is looking. Moving on to the doll hair which I'm really excited about because I will be using this yarn for the very first time and I just got this from a local craft store and I think that this is very fantastic to make some very beautiful dreadlocks for your dolls. And I'm just cutting them the desired length I want. And once I have a good amount of hair, after this I'm taking my rerouting tool. I'm just using a small strand of hair, looping this to my needle. And after this I'm starting my rerouting process. I usually start from the hairline and make my way up to the top of the doll head. And now I have repeated the same thing with the rest of the doll head. And now the doll hair is looking very fantastic to me and I'm really in love with it. And at last I finally put it the doll head and body back together and with that the doll is all done. I'm really happy that how she turned out and what do you guys think about her? What is your favorite thing about her? I think that I really love her very poofy skirt and her beautiful face up. So if you like this video then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like this video, share this video because I post videos every week Friday and I will see you guys very soon next week. Goodbye.